Ano ang magtitrending sa mundo ng arts and crafts ngayong 2024? Hi, I'm Roma of Common Rupi H and I've been a crafter since 2007 and a community mother hen for more than 200 makers since 2015. So based on our very subjective observations, here are our fearless forecasts for 2024. For those who are new here, Common Room is a shared retail and digital space for over 200 Filipino makers and artists. If you're looking for unique locally made products, we have branches in Power Plant Mall, UP Town Center, Alabang Town Center, and Ayala Mall's Manila Bay. Trend number one. More arts and crafts conventions. So in 2023, we saw a lot of art fairs and conventions na talaga namang sinuportahan ng mga shoppers. Kahit nasan sila, talagang dinadayo sila. So we see more of these happening this year dahil nga successful yung turnout last year. In fact, some well-known organizers, dati occasional lang sila nag-hold ng conventions, ngayon may nakaschedule na sila for the entire year. So ang upside nun is that mas maraming opportunities ang ating artists and makers to showcase their products. But, a friendly reminder lang na kailangan nyo pa rin mag-collect as many data as you can about these events kasi it's possible also na kung marami ng events, it's possible na masasaturate na rin yung market and it's possible na merong mga fairs dito na hindi magiging patok. So, kung limited ang resources nyo, kailangan smart din kayo sa mga sasalihan nyo. Trend number two, more artist-designed merchandise. Since marami na talagang nakakakita ng potential na maka-earn sa kanilang crafts and sa kanilang art, we see a lot of artists exploring different kinds of merch to differentiate themselves from the market. Kasi ang go-to ng mga artists natin and stickers and pins dahil madaling i-produce and alam nilang mabenta talaga. So, we see a lot of them having all of these products. So we see a lot of artists this year exploring different kinds of merchandise from t-shirts to mugs to socks to acrylic keychains to washi tapes. Mas nagiging matapang na sila as their way to differentiate themselves from the existing products that are already out there. We're personally excited to see what our makers have for us in 2024. Trend number three, more sustainable crafting. So, ang mga shoppers natin ngayon talagang mas environmentally conscious na sila. So, we see a lot of support for sustainable products this year. Magko-continue yung mga trends na yan. Nakikita nyo ang dami ng mga flea markets, ang dami ng mga vintage markets. That's because meron na talagang suporta sa ganitong klaseng mga crafts. So, we see a lot of our artists and makers exploring ways to be more sustainable in their making, um, upcycling, reworking vintage, or you know, offering slightly used items as part of their brand story. Kasi nga, ngayon hindi na tayo pwedeng basta gagawa na lang. Dapat, bakit ka gumagawa? Importante yon this year. And we see that happening more sa ating mga makers and artists this year. And ang maganda upside is that because we are a small business, hindi mahirap mag-pivot into a different kind of system. Dahil nga, small batch lang tayo, wala naman tayong mga malalaking machinery and stuff na talagang kailangan natin baguhin, kayang-kaya natin mag-explore ng avenues of making na hindi makakasira sa environment. Trend number four, old school is cool again. We feel that there will still be renewed interests for slower crafts, yung mga traditional artisanal crafts. Magko-continue ang demand for products like this. Um, we see a lot of our makers 
trying to learn these old skills or even tapping communities who've been doing it for decades. We're so excited to see how our makers will be reintroducing these traditional crafts to today's market. Trend number five. More hands-on activities or yung tinatawag nating experiential events. Tandaan natin na ilang taon din tayong nakulong sa bahay, di ba? So, hanggang ngayon, I think people are still trying to compensate for those years lost outside. So, talagang people will continue to seek activities and experiences outside their home. And these hands-on activities, kunyari if you're a maker who's going to offer this, it's not, it doesn't have to be something that's in-depth. Kumbaga, people just need a space to gather, have a kit, and do this with other people. Kumbaga, parang it's a social experience and a social gathering. Remember rin na hindi lang social gathering yung nawala namimiss rin ng mga tao yung slower life rin. So, may ganun din. So, namimiss yung tao yung slower life. And ngayon na parang napasabak tayo na kailangan ulit natin mag-office, kailangan natin harapin ang traffic ng Metro Manila araw-araw, itong mga hands-on activities na to are their form of self-care. Kaya we still see this happening this year. And if it's something that you can offer, then this is something that you can take advantage of. Trend number six, harder crafting projects. Since ilan taon na rin ang mga taong nagsisik ng mga experiences, makikita na rin natin yung mga tao na to na nagle-level up. Yung ibang mga tao nagle-level up sa mga klase ng crafts na tinatry this year. So makikita natin na mas magiging patok yung mga harder crafting projects rin, like pottery, woodworking, ganyang mga levels na metal smithing, ganyan. Even shoemaking, yung mga ganong klaseng crafts kasi hahanap na sila ng ibang klase ng crafting experience kung natry na nila yung mga social gathering DIY kits type of classes. So, if you are skilled in any of these activities, maybe considering holding a class or a social gathering around these activities is something you can consider as an additional source of income this year. Trend number seven, craft content creators. So yung mga makers dyan, alam ko nahihiya kayo gawa ng crafts kasi ang hirap na nga magtayo ng small business, ang hirap na nga gumawa ng products, kailangan nyo pang gumawa ng content. But since we live in a world na digital na talaga and we are also talking to the next generation, the Gen Zs, talagang digital talaga ang kanilang world. So, we see more crafters this year trying to talk to this generation. Kasi they are the next set of buyers. So, we see more makers na nagkakaroon ng courage. Hello, mga introverts. Nagkakaroon ng mga courage. Itry, gumawa ng content, and to speak to these markets. And tandaan nyo, ang mga big businesses ngayon, sila na talaga ang kausap. So, kayo mga makers, huwag kayong magpapahuli. Since gagawin nyo na rin naman ang mga crafts ninyo, i-document nyo na para kung nagkaroon kayo ng courage, i-post yun. Meron na kayong content. Yung trends kasi, parang it's a guiding point. It doesn't have to be something that you will really do. Pero at the start of the year kasi, ano pang, nag, ikaw rin, nag-iisip ka, ano pang bago kong pwedeng gawin? Ano yung baka na-miss ko na hindi ko ginagawa last year. So, trends are very important para lang as a guiding light for you na baka there's something here that I can also explore 
or something here that resonates with me that I can also do. We're not saying na sumakay ka lang sa trend just because kung hindi ka naman naniniwala sa ganito, bakit mo gagawin? If hindi ka naman mahilig mag-in-depth class, bakit mo gagawin? Pero baka dun sa mga 7 trends na sinabi ko sa inyo, meron na kayong napupusuan and mas magbibigyan kayo ng courage to actually do it kasi we really see these trends happening this year and sayang naman na isip mo na hindi mo ginawa baka pag narinig mo na baka okay siya this year mas magkaroon ka ng courage to finally do it this 2024 so yan ang craft trends na nakikita namin happening this year. If may nakikita pa kayong ibang trends, pakisabi naman sa comments below. Magtulungan po tayo. And please, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel, like and support our community. And if you haven't visited yet, please visit our stores. We have one in Power Plant Mall, UP Town Center, Alabang Town Center, and Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. We also have an online shop, www.commonroomph.com. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.